Today the professor of RVing is going to show you how to use a multimeter to check the utilities at your RV site before you plug it in. This is a multimeter. I bought this for about 12 bucks at Walmart. This is one I picked up the other day at Harbor Freight. It cost less than five dollars. Can't even replace the battery for that price. Now this multimeter has cables on it. Two pointy ends, red and black, and a couple ends that look like this. They're uh, to be plugged into black. You always plug it in into the comm section. And this one we're going to plug into AC-DC, the red one. Plug it into AC-DC. Then we're going to go check to see what our uh, status is on the electricity at the meter. All right, let's unplug this and show you how to do it. Okay, I've got my multimeter set up here so that you can see what's going on. First of all, I'm going to take my, uh, I've got it set to 200, and it shows zero. Now, we're, first of all, we're going to check the top and the bottom, the, the sort of the little train tunnel shaped one here, and the one immediately just a, juxtaposed to it. You um, put one lead in here and one lead in here, and it should read zero. That means that your, your uh, ground wire is, is working properly. Now, you put your, uh, your black one in this side, and you put the other one, the red one, into the ground, and you can check uh, and make sure you got 120. There you go, on that side. That's one side. Now let's check the other side. Make sure that we get 120 on this side as well. All right, so that means that that's working correctly. Now what happens if we check both of these side poles like this? Well, let's see. On my uh, multimeter, um, there's the opposition. When I want to check uh, one, one blade, one side of a 50 amp service, I turn it over to 200. Um, when I want to check both of them at the same time for 240 volts, I turn it over to 600 like that. When we check both of the side poles, you get a reading of around 240. And now we want to check uh, the bottom one and the side one. Got 120 there. And I'll just flip this over here like this. Check there. Should have 120 there. All right. So this receptacle is running properly, and uh, you can um, use it without any worry. I'm Jim Twomley, professor of RVing. Until next time, thanks for watching.